17 past the hour of 8 o'clock with TNT. We check your traffic every 10 minutes. Here's Mike Nolan, KFI in the sky. Thank you, Mike Tracy. Still busy, though, southbound on the Hollywood. It'll be a struggle from Hollywood Boulevard down toward Alvarado. But overall, I think you'll enjoy this Monday morning ride on the westbound 60. Thank you for your order. You should receive your Groove Your Booty limited edition. Workout videos in two to three weeks. Yes. OK. Hey. How are the calls today? I got the booty calls. You got the tech support. The stereotypical rubbish handed down by your bourgeoisie. You think she saw me come in late? She definitely didn't see you come in on time, Drew. Thank you for calling Vantage Light Bulb. How may I brighten up your day? You can start by telling me why I've got an entire Christmas tree that won't light up. Who makes light bulbs that don't light up? So I don't actually make the lights. I just try to provide a solution for your problem. Now your light's properly plugged in. Young man, I am retired electrical engineer with the United States military. Yes, and thank you for that. So your lights are properly plugged into an electrical outlet? Oh, an electrical outlet. Well, thank you, Benjamin Franklin. All this time, I had him plugged into my dog's ass. Get me a supervisor, you idiot. Do you read the news, Drew? Sometimes. Mm. How about the Wall Street parts? On occasion. Mm. I don't think you do. Because if you did, you'd realize that this country is in a financial crisis. You know, it's on the brink of a national economical depression. It's gotten so bad that uh, only one in 12 people are gainfully employed. Painfully. I would think that the, uh, the lucky few who have jobs would be bending over with gratitude. I... Uh, are you bending, Drew? I, I try to bend. <clears throat> well, I don't see any bending. <clears throat> with a, uh, oh, a 49% call rating, I'm gonna go with no bending. I'll, I'll try to bend more. Oh, you will bend, Drew. All eight hours of every shift, you will bend over and take everything I give you. Think of a, uh, oh, think of a happy little giraffe. Ooh, ooh, he's running. He's running through a field in Africa. Oh, 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 he sees a tree with some leaves. Mm. Oh, he's eating them. He's eating the leaves, but it's not leaves, Drew. It's your asshole. Get back out there. Put the headset on your ears. Act like you give a damn about your job. Do you have a twin sister that you never mentioned? Zip it, Hugo. Zipping. Human Resources is investigating as we speak. Human Resources? 
I don't have time to talk about this. I gotta go pre-board. You are not going anywhere. They have grounded you until the investigation has wrapped. This is my job. Nikki, I've got direct orders. You are suspended indefinitely without pay. Now I need your wings. Clipped. You obviously do not need these, Gary boy. At least I have wings. Every day I feel like I'm in prison in there. Yeah, but prison is prison because you don't get a break. It's a metaphor. You mean an analogy? I mean, I hate my job. Lots of people hate their job, man. <sighs> and my roommate. Roommates are roommates, dog. You think it helps when you just echo what I say after I've said it? Echo? But these are words of affirmation. I'm trying to help you enjoy life, brother. Relax. Life? This is not a life. I live in a one-bedroom apartment with a caveman. I failed the bar for the second time now, which means I got to keep working at the call center where Kathy wants to shove a giraffe into my ass. Damn, that does sound like prison. You might think it's funny, but civil rights movement is no joke, Drew. We have a black president. What more do you want? I want my 40 acres and my fucking mule. How about that? <laughs> oh, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, my God. Hey! What is hey, are you okay? I think so. What the hell was that? Did you see him? Yeah, yeah. he just pulled his penis out. Why didn't you do anything? Well, it happened really fast. Yes, hi, I need an officer. I was just, I don't know, I was humped. Hey, well, I'm not sticking around to hear that shit, man. African Americans do not fare well at crime scenes. I'm out of here. Well, Nate, you're overreacting. No, I'm not. I'm yes, out of here, Yes, yes, he had a black face. Mask! OK, he had a mask, not face. Get uh -huh. that shit right. Somebody report a hump and run? Yes, officer, I did. Is this the black face that dry humped you, ma'am? Oh, no, 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 no. no. no he's gone. No, officer. Put your hands in front of the vehicle where I can see him. What I do, officer? Or you will be tased. This is Whoa. racist, man. He didn't do anything, officer. Who are you, sir? My name is Drew Thomas. Fantastic. I'm officer who gives a shit. What are you doing here? He's a witness. Oh, so you saw everything? Yeah, I was standing right here. And while the serial humper was just hammering away, you continued to just stand there. It happened really fast. <laughs> OK, Nancy. How about we start out with a thorough physical description? Well, I couldn't really see his face. Couldn't see? Because you didn't have your contact lenses in? No, I don't wear contact lenses. Because they irritate your eyes? No, I, I don't need them. <laughs> You just hold on right there, sir. We're not done yet. How many fingers am I holding up? One. One and three halves. That equals two and a half. I'm afraid you do need visual aids. I didn't think half fingers counted. Just like you didn't think a physical description would be necessary to apprehend the criminal. Hey, officers, this is about me. So while this citizen was happily complacent, were you able to secure any details? Yes, and I already told you, get a black face. Mass! God damn it! Hey! You shut your mouth. The mask. You want to get taste? Just get the hell out of here. Thank you, officer. You know what? My work is done here. To make it official, ma'am, please fill out that form and mail it to the address below. Oh, that's it? She just mails it and then just waits? Affirmative. Or you can do it for her if you're not just still standing here. Hope you have a better rest of your day, man. Ready, Ruby? I get fired for naked pictures and then humped by a dog in a mask. That's normal, right? Naked pictures? <laughs> now I'm late for class. It just keeps getting better. For the naked pictures or? <sighs> you know what? Forget about it. Forget about this, too. Really? I, I could fill this out for you and totally call you or No, could, or... just pretend you got some good karma coming your way, right? Right. Evan Paulus, Star Maker Academy. Evan Paulus, it's Sarah! I did it! I walked in the room and killed it. See you soon, or should I say, you'll see me soon. Evan, Mr. Paulus, it's out! I just had my final callback on that boxing film. They want me! I used all your techniques and I killed! You're a genius. I'm gonna blow this town away! Woo! Darren Hughes here from Mulholland Productions. Just had two more of your people drop by my office. Listen, I have 
See, if I had a beer for every one of these messages, this entire room would be foaming in the suds of drunkenness. Now, you people sit here, longing to be intoxicated by stardom. How the hell are you going to make it like these people on my machine? Well, folks, it's simple. You're going to do exactly what I tell you to do. Now, you want to get smart and do your own thing? All right, but please. Don't come running back to Daddy after you've been chewed up and spat out onto the urine-filled streets. I'm the only person in this town who can take you right to the top, baby. Now, the sooner you realize how lucky you are to be here under my tutelage, the sooner you people will be shining brighter than the big fucking dipper. So, watch out, NASA. It's time to discover some new stars. That little Daisy Duke outfit got me going. Damn, if I were you, I'd get a hold of that ass quick. That's amazing advice, as per usual. Without her job, she's gonna need a new pilot. I could be your co-pilot, Drew. We can fly her into some international territory, you feel me? What does that even mean? It's your co-pilot checking in. We're clear for takeoff. Expect a bouncy ride with hella turbulence, you know? Uh, 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 Just like that. You are sick. Tell me again why you didn't get her number? Oh, I know exactly where to find oh. her. Why did you leave me here so soon, Michael? You were my best friend. You are my best friend. You are my best friend, Michael. You were my best friend, Mike. Jesus! Dude, what? Who is Michael? Apparently an overdose victim. He was your best friend. No, it's from a monologue. Do you knock? Who's that man in the mirror? What? That man in the mirror is you, Drew. He's your best friend now that Michael has passed. He's always there. And sometimes, he is all you have. Thank you for that, Ansel. Can you please shut my door now? I'm starting with the man in the mirror. I'm Asking him to change his ways. No. No, I don't think you get it, Hugo. I need something different. Something strange. What are you laughing at? No, I'm not. I want to open the door. Close it. Close it! Oh my god! Get off of me! You like this? Get off of me! Get the fuck off me! Uh, Cause I can hold you all day, woman! Let me go! Get the fuck off me, you big bitch! Whoa, 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 stop! What are you Jesus doing? Christ! Bro? Oh my god! Damn it, damn it, damn it! No, babe, you got this. You got to stay in the moment, Nikki. Okay. Keep it! You lose right. it! I think I'm so warm. I think I'm so warm. Yeah, I'm gonna go on these speeds. Oh, fuck yeah, bitch. Blow them away, baby. Here it blow comes. me away. Blow me away. Blow me away, baby. Yeah! I was warming her up, you idiots. Newbie class is that way. You'll never be a star. Cocksucker!
welcome to the world famous Star Maker Academy! Brace yourselves for your group numbers. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, Tonight, you'll be stripped to the barest of your vulnerable bones. Studies have found that most people would rather not live than speak in front of a live audience. Well, you are the brave. Casadice, my brother! What's... That's Italian for hello. Move. That's Italian for your light. Sit down, please. What? As I was saying, you will be standing here delivering your monologue that you have chosen that will accentuate how far, how deep, how wide your potential as an actor should be. The great Evan Paulus has entrusted me as his gatekeeper to determine who gets in his class and who gets stopped short of stardom. If your group succeeds, you will advance to Evan Paulus's class and have the opportunity to be in Hollywood's greatest showcase ever! Do you want to work eight, ten fucking hours? You own nothing, you've got nothing. Do you know I eat octopus three times a day? I've got <laughs> octopus coming out of my fucking ears. I've got the fucking Russian shoes and my feet is coming through. Hey, I'm no fucking criminal, man. I'm Tony Montana, political prisoner from Cuba, and I want my fucking human rights now. <laughs> what a dork! <laughs> Good job, brother. <laughs> that shit sucked. <laughs> As you can see, no one could become a star overnight. It is an evolution. Even Brad Pitt was a pathetic little lungfish. Then we made him a star. Brad Pitt didn't go here. I don't know, did he? Mr. Italy, do you have a name? Rubicio Uccellini. And I have a lot more than just a name. Beautiful. Let the evolution begin. Max calls me up and says, Casadice, my brother. I think I got heat. Stay on this cell phone with me. He comes out of his driveway and says, Oh, I think they're coming from every direction, my brother. I got bags full of money just buried in my lawn. So that night, I'm out there with a flashlight just digging up bags of money. Yen. Yeah. Uccellini! <laughs> Good job, Rubicio. <laughs> uh, quick question. Our assignment was to prepare a monologue from a narrative film, right? Right. But that was from a documentary. Who the hell are you? It's a monologue taken from an amazing movie, The Cocaine Cowboys. Which was a documentary with live interviews, so there weren't actually actors in it. It was real. John Wayne was cowboy! He was a real cowboy. So if you're not a fan of real movies, then you're probably not gonna be a fan of all the other real shit that I have for you. Cut! Let's see what you got, Shakespeare. The director has your cut! Now, class, self-control is an important aspect of this business. Sometimes it's okay to punch a thrust, other times, you need to punch a thrust. Yes, Chance. Did John Wayne really smoke cocaine? I'm right here, Chance. And no, John Wayne was not a cocaine cowboy. Can my monologue be John Wayne? Did you prepare a John Wayne monologue? The title of my monologue is Ruby. Ruby. Ruby, what is Ruby? 
Ruby is an Italian guy who's in my acting class. He thinks he's really big and macho, but if Ruby had a half the cock I had, he wouldn't have to be so macho, would he? Okay, DJ Biatch. <laughs> um, uh... Give me back my family, fucker! <laughs> in a little play, and I, I swallowed the harmonica. They had to give me the hemlock treatment. Why did you leave me here all alone? You were my best friend, Michael. See? Who's next? You. Tears just stream down my tired eyes. And then he came. And he kissed me. <laughs> and with a ring on my finger and a promise in my heart, I can say that I am loved. Alas. <laughs> I am finally loved. <laughs> Scene. Brilliant. Not a single string in my heart was unstrung. I feel like I was ridden hard and, and put away hot and wet. Okay, it is time for you to become acquainted with your fellow numbers. You will be rehearsing with them this week. Quesadice, my brothers. Now it looks like this group might have a fighting chance. Why is that? Why? Because I'm in it, Tinkerbell. Uh, Tony Montana, puta, uh, uh, octopus out of my... Uh, 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 uh. Dork. Well, welcome. We're just trying to figure out where to meet to practice our scene. Do you live close by? You got a house, don't you? Uh, yeah, but... Okay, cool. Let's go there. No, it's not the kind of place... Hey, we're, gonna... we're going to your house. The dork, the fairy, and I will see you there. Uccellini is out. You just made the bear touch my penis. Oh, my God, you were so amazing, babe. Like, right? like your boobs were heaving and your mouth was like like pulsing with with, oh. with rage and see i thought oh i was God. the best too yeah and your hair is like so so silky uh, and I, I hey nikki hey hey just so you know stalking is a felony heidi brood <laughs> you go here now yeah well, I just you gotta go mm. Help me, mommy. I'm a big stoker, creepy douchebag. <laughs> oh, I can reserve the banquet hall and my community center. We'll have plenty of privacy there. That's a really good idea, Ruth. Maybe after we rehearse a couple of times, we can have some of your neighbors watch us perform it. Oh, wait until the older folks see you. <laughs> They're gonna want to snuggle you six days from Sunday. I've wanted you for so long. But this just feels so wrong. Shh. Don't think about it. Just enjoy the fact that you're about to be with the best looking man in your life. Uccellini. Uccellini. Come here. Me name Lulu. I slave away all day while you stay in my office and comfy home. What, this? No, we were just talking is all. Nothing happened, Lulu. You shut your mouth, Lele. Ow. Lulu. Lulu, stop. Stop. Listen. Look, we talked about this. A guy that looks as good as I do can't be monogamous forever. Sometimes I need something different, you know? 
a little strange. Strange? And that's why you want to be with my twin sister? You dumb little fuck! Ow! Oh, okay, oh, okay, listen, oh, stop. What about my headshots? You drop your little gummy worm in the wrong pond. Now you have no headshots! Uh, okay, look, 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 listen. What if I go to the house and we talk about this when you get home? You don't have a house anymore, hot shot. You just got evicted. Oh, hello. Come on in, take a seat. Look, let's talk one more time, please. Hey, you know what? You're the one that's missing out. Mussolini! Ah! Mm. This mind and this body, she's gonna be on a wounded knee begging this prodigy son to return. I think what you're referring to just happens to be the story of the prodigal son. It has absolutely nothing to do with Asian sisters or wounded knees or morons in leisure suits on the fucking clock. Hey, step down, old man. We don't need any philogisticism from the Walnut Gallery, all right? The prodigal son was ignorant and arrogant. But he had all the necessary needs for success, but only how to return home to the wisdom and guidance of his father. You have the roar of a lion, but a lion who's stuck in a cold cage, waiting to be warmed up. Warmed enough so you can crawl out of your den and discover your time to kill. It has all the elements we need. Greed, passion, anger, jealousy. I say we go for it. I'm not doing a scene from Bring It On. Sounds like a total bitch fest. And Rubicio Uccellini ain't no bitch. I say we do a scene from The Godfather. Actually, I've, I've never seen The Godfather. It's because you're an idiot. Oh, that's productive. Oh, Othello's here. Of course I'm here. This is my house. And it's really nice. OK, come on, you guys, why don't we do a scene from, like, Stand By Me? You know, there's four of them and there's four of us. There we go. That's a star. Three class for Rowie. Those kids are, like, eight years old. I'm not going to pretend to be a kid. Oh, I don't think you'd have to pretend. Were they friends with Michael? No, Hansel. That was from a monologue. These are actors from an acting class. Hey, sir. Uh, I'm Rowie. I'm sure you are. And that's my hookah. Oh, I'm so sorry. I... What the fuck? That's going to be on television. They're performing for us. You're interrupting. Yeah, well, I hate it. I want my ticket money back. I'll miss you like the dick and sweetheart. <laughs> I 
love you, Papa. Why, why is that girl calling that little boy daddy? Is this some of that, that perverted adult smut? It's a theatrical performance. You blow hard. Like a, like a dinner theater. Like a dinner theater, yeah. Lenny. Oh, well, I'd like a Salisbury steak. That tears it. That tears it. That's it. Ah. That tears it. Ah. That's the, ah. that's the ah. end of it. The end of it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. My fault that nobody wants to hire these rejects. So tell them that. Listen here, you dry humping fuck. You don't tell daddy what he can and what he can't do. You know, you do a lot of talking with your pelvic region. his chance. Hey, Drew. Oh, hey, Hannah. How did it go with your group? Uh, I don't really know how to put it into words. Hey, Drew. Oh, hey, Nikki. Um, Nikki, this is Hannah. Hannah, Nikki. Hey, Nikki. Um, it's nice to meet you. Uh, Hannah's in the other class with me. Oh. Yeah. Well, I will see you in there. Yeah. <laughs> Bring a leg. Thank you. <laughs> Looks like she broke more than just a leg. Well, poor girl. She's, uh, pretty good, actually. Yeah, well, she's not a star. Once you're here for a while, you'll see. So what's the difference between the two classes? I gotta go. Unleash the beast! Chance, where the fuck are you? Move or lose it, bitch. Jesus. Oh, please, darling. Won't you reconsider? I, I can't hardly breathe thinking about you not being here, laying next to me. Well, duty calls, sweet cheeks. And this cowboy don't back down to anyone or anything. I'm the one of you go, Papa. Uh, now you listen, and you listen good, son. While I'm gone, you're the man of this ranch. And I want you to, to feed the chickens and milk them cows, you hear? And I want you to make sure that your mother and sister are never fondled by the other cowhands. I love you, Daddy. Yippee-ki-yay! No! No! Action! Men, I'm gonna ask you one more time. Who screwed up my mess hall? Sir, it was, it was not me, sir. I didn't even eat anything last night. Then you're dismissed, soldier. Get out of my face! It wasn't me, sir. I took an oath to serve this country and to tell the truth. As a result, I can't tell a lie lie. <laughs> Saved by the don't ask, don't tell clause. Lieutenant, that's already been totally amended already. Oof. Back to your bunker! And you, soldier? I don't really care what you have to say for yourself. You make me question the validity of basic training. One of these days, I'm going to give you what you deserve. Really? Are those even the lines? Shut up, soldier! You're a sorry excuse for a human being! Um, See? <laughs> Woo -hoo! Groups two and three. You have advanced to Evan Paulus's class! Tomorrow, two o'clock. Everyone coming with me. Oh, I got work in the morning. Hey, Drew, are you sure? Yeah. 
positive. That's fine. I'll just pick something up for him. Totes fresh. Uh. Move. Uccellini! <laughs> Okay, I'll tell them. Adrian can't make it. Well, let's just go inside. Honestly, I really don't want to wait for Rubizio. We said that we would, Robbie. We have to wait for him. Quesadice! What's up, ladies? Anybody up for a little game of two on one? <laughs> Hi, Rubizio. You're looking nice today. Well, thank you, Hannah. You look mighty fine yourself, woman. Thank you. Come on, let's go get our shop on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm not giving these little rats a dime. Rats? I, how can you say no to those girls? They're so precious. They stand right outside the entrance, pressuring everyone with their hard sale tactics. You see, they're kids. They're not employing <laughs> tactics to move cookies. Hello. Would you like to buy some cookies for charity? <laughs> Quesadilla, little lady. We'd love to, but unfortunately, our friend here can't be within 100 feet of children. What? No, 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 that's not true. Tell, tell her that's not true. It is true. <laughs> I'm so sorry, that's not true at all. But that's not cool at all. What are you doing? Hey, shut up. I saved you seven bucks. Thank you. <laughs> Buck is Chance. Chance! This place is gross. That's not very nice. You know you gotta stop being such a bully. Oh. You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. I'll take the uh, uh, bacon burger with uh, no lettuce. And your choice of a house salad, regular or sweet potato fries. I'll take the house salad. Okay. And you? Yes. Um, I'm going to enjoy the turkey burger and Caesar salad, please. Great. And I'm pretty sure they're out of the grape soda, so is cola OK? Yeah, sure. OK. Who said grape, Drew? Chill. She probably got you confused with somebody else. Chill? Look, man, the day my skin color does not dictate the fallacious assumptions of ignorant individuals is the day I will chill, brother. That sounds like something I heard last February. Oh, now we're hating on Black History Month, huh? All this over a purple drink. How many goddamn times do I have to tell you we have an appointment to do our headshots right fucking now? I do not remember. What do you expect? Me to just float up onto that horse, you fuck face? Get your ostrich ass out of the thrift store and into the urine-filled streets. Now! If I had something, you're dead meat. Now, look, I don't care how long this takes. You were late, so now you're going to pay. All right, you ready? Hold on. Let me warm up. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, I want to check your lens. Is he even working? Mm -hmm. We're done. Why are we shopping here? Because I'm a struggling actor. I can't afford anything else. You're not an actor. You're an idiot. Cool, I'm an idiot. Freeze, pervert! Put your hands up in the air! What did I do? Grab him, rookie! No. Oh, it's on now. Oh, Come no. here. Oh, oh my Come god, why are you so big? <sighs> Ow! Ow! Girl, Shut girl. up, you little pervert! I, I literally didn't do anything. Yeah, I literally didn't do tell them. Girl. Tell them yeah. I didn't do anything, uh -huh. please. Get your ass up. Ow, OK. Mm -hmm. You lie to us one more time, uh -huh. and you will be dead. I never lied. Put him on the ground, rookie. Absolutely. Ow. Yeah. Ow! Oh, you my think God. It's funny. No, you no. Think it's funny. It's not. It's not. No, you think it's no. funny. Ow. Yes, you do. You're too tight. Ow. 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 Fried chicken, jerk pork, and sweet potato fries. Fried chicken? I ordered a salad. Oh, I thought you said sweet potato. Salad. 
We don't have sweet potato salad. Free at last, my black ass. This is bullshit, okay? You eat the chicken wing. Sir, I didn't even know half fingers were included. Just like you didn't think acting like a pedophile was against the law? Sir, I didn't, I didn't, didn't do it. You mm -hmm. didn't? Mm -hmm. Well, now you know, Mary. If I ever see you so much as blink mm -hmm. in the direction of a child, you will be tased, no questions asked. Are we clear, Mary? Mary? Are we clear? Yes, sir. Now, get out of my face and get out of the shopping center. You did good, rookie. You made him run like a little bitch. Hey, you. Hannah, hey. I, um, I got you two medium shirts, one blue and one purple. And I figured they'd look good on you. <clears throat> I... I uh, hope, hope you like them. Oh, uh, thank you. Oh <laughs> yeah. my gosh, you didn't have to do that. Oh, it's not. Wow, these are nice. Yeah, um, can you just... Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> thank you. So, how did... Oh, um, my aunt has an equestrian farm, and one day I was practicing. My uncle's uh, tractor backfired, and spooked the horse. I fell and um, I pretty much lost the sensation in the right side of my body. Huh. I get pissed off when my leg falls asleep, huh? That's not what I meant. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that happened. No, yeah. it's okay. I... What about you, Drew Thomas? I uh, finished law school last spring. You're a lawyer? Well, uh, not exactly. A minimum wage telemarketer until I can pass the bar. And what are you doing at Star Maker Academy? Uh Thank you for calling Groove Your Booty, revolutionary backside workout paired with all your favorite groovy tunes. Ah, uh, yeah, is this machine for to make my ass all fly and whatnot? Yes, and for calling right now, it can also... You know if it works or not. Because, like, I used to have a Jennifer Lopez ass. <laughs> yeah. I can shake it like, you know, Shakira on crack. <laughs> you dig? <laughs> Fools used to get all sprung. When I walk by, you dig? We here at Groove Your Booty promise results in just 15 minutes a day for 30 days. No. <laughs> Get out. For real, though? Yeah, yeah, for real. Money back guaranteed. And before you know it, your husband will be getting all sprung again. Oh, who said nothing about no husband? Well, let me tell you something. Except a spoon boy. We ain't all chilling, eating caviar, drinking red merlot. You dig? I said you dig. Yes, ma'am. what I get for free? You all walked in here, below average of best. But let me tell you, by the time I'm finished with you, you'll have seen more red carpet than the streets have seen urine. Now, to my new students. Simple. You just do exactly what I tell you to do and how I tell you to do it. OK, uh, let's. Let's just take it up a notch, have a bit of fun here. Who can we get? Uh, Nikki, why don't you come up? Give me that. You have just returned from the war. While you were in combat, you stumbled on a landmine. It exploded, killing three in your infantry, but luckily you survived. But not before it blew up both your legs, all right? Oh, okay. Take that. You're a war hero, Nikki. But your fiance, he can't stand the sight of you. He's told you that he doesn't love you without your beautiful feet and your pretty little tippy toes. You are devastated. He's gonna leave you, Nikki. So talk to him. 
Now, whenever you're ready. Why? Oh, tell me why. I loved you. And not just, not just for your hair or your eyes. I loved all of you. And what, because, because I don't have regular feet or ankles or, or knees, you're leaving me? <laughs> see, look at this. See, you see this? Now this is, this is beautiful. This is, this is fantastic. You're blowing me away, baby. Nikki, you're blowing everybody away. Stay in the moment, darling. Stay in the moment. <laughs> I loved you. You are so What the, Rachel, what the fuck is going on here? It's not like, it's oh not my like God, that it's not, it's, it's not, not what you what think. The, what do you mean it's not what I think? And it's I exactly think what I think. Nothing happened. Nothing and you guys, are, you're, you're my sister, nothing, Rachel. Nothing, what the, nothing, you told me you happened. loved me. I do, I you do, said I you do, loved I me. Do. Are you serious? That's disgusting. It's Why not, would you do that to me? Not, I'm fucking hating my life. Honestly, fuck you. Hey. Fuck nuts, get up there, sit next to your fiance. Who, by the way, you so haphazardly, you know, kicked to the curb. Go on. Get up there, tell her why you can't stand the sight of her. Beautiful, Danny, beautiful. Why? Tell me why. Uh, what? Oh, you wimp. Uh, it's, it's <sighs> not that I, I don't love you, baby, it's just, I live on the beach. What does that have to do with you leaving me, you selfish bastard? What, now that you live on the beach, I'm not good enough for your beach friends? No, I mean, it's just all, all the sand. I'm not strong enough to push the wheelchair. I'm, I'm but 110 pounds is all. Uh, do you think this is good, newbie? I, I don't know. I'm trying. Well, it's fucking terrible. Take him outside. Warm his ass up. Oh, shit. OK, so how does this work? What are you going to do? What the f Ow! Come on, dude. It's too tight. Ouch. I can't breathe. Get off me. Get the f Yeah, man. Lisa, fuck. I'm not dumping you because you lost your legs. I'm leaving you because you've been sleeping with my sister, you unfaithful whore. Here we go. You don't think I saw you with her in the garage? I was in love with you. I was gonna take off this purity ring and become one with you, but no, you betrayed me. Selfish bitch. That never happened. Shut your mouth, Rachel. This is my turn. Unleash the beast, you son of a bitch. Time to kill. <laughs> The doctor said you lost both your legs, but he forgot to mention the most important part of you, lost forever. Your heart. Scene beautiful. Beautiful! You see, everyone, you notice that? I eliminated his fear and allowed the adrenaline to unleash the brilliant acting beast inside of him. I mean, nobody can teach this. I mean, of course, that's why you're here. But you're not going to make it in this business without me. You really blew me away. Guys, hush, please, for a sec. I'd just like to say, Rowie, what you had tonight was a breakthrough. Yeah. Thanks, guys. And here's to everybody shutting up already and drinking. Salute, bitches! Wait, 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 wait. Before we all cheers this shit, uh, when we all become stars, what are you guys gonna do? I think I'll go to Milan, start my own boutique. I guess I'm next. Uh... Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play the field for a while, and then once I hit it big, I'm gonna get Lulu back, because she's my rock. Check this out. I'm gonna buy a Clydesdale and ride that bitch across the Rockies. How about you, Hannah? What I'd really like is to find a guy that would love me for me. One day, you're going to find that guy. And when you do, he's going to be the luckiest guy in the world. That's a promise, Hadi Ugh. Please, can we just toast before we puke? 
idiot. Cheers. 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 It's like blonde silk, you know? It's like so smooth, like water, like cascading over the, oh my God, it smells like heaven. Hey, oh, look, Creeper Boy's back. Lucky for you, I got a good body. Naked pictures, huh? <laughs> Same face, different body. Really? It's not me. So, I could just go online and check them out. Oh, is that how you look at naked girls? You go on the internet? Damn, you got me. What would a little boy like you do with a woman like me? Que se dice, my Nikki? You up for a little game of two-on-one? Robicio. Hey, Drew. What? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> All right, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen here, Nikki. What's going to happen here, Drew? We're going to take these shots, and then we're going to go back to my house. How do you know I even like you like that? Whoa, oh, who said anything about liking anybody? Maybe I just want to run a scene with you. Oh, yeah? What kind of scene is that, Drew who? Company policy clearly states no more than three inches above the knee. Now, you young lady have no excuse because I suspect you are quite experienced at measuring things by the inch. Get out. Why we have a schedule here, Drew? I believe so. I don't think you do. Because if you did, you'd show up to work every day on time. Just like all those other little worker bees out there. Sorry, Kathy, it won't happen again. You're right, it won't. Because this is your final warning. After that, you'll be out on the streets. Probably turning tricks just to pay your rent. Do you know what it's like to sell your body for sex, Drew? Pants around your ankles and a dirty bathroom somewhere downtown. In this economy, you'll be lucky to get 20 bucks a blow. You know what? I quit. You know what? I quit. I'm taking this. Psycho! You want to be a star, you dumb fuck, then answer my calls. Oh, oh, I know what you're doing. I know you're on your set, right? Making a fucking movie. You get your pampered wearing ass back to class, or I'm going to toss you into the urine-filled streets for the last time. <laughs> oh, yeah, can you breathe? Huh? Yeah, I can breathe. Oh, no, no. Yeah, can you breathe now? Yeah, I oh, I it. bet you can't. I bet you're lying. Oh, you little bitch. Oh, yeah, you like being my bitch? No. Yeah? 
I don't. You don't like being my bitch? Oh, how about it here? You like that, motherfucker? You like that? Like that? You like that? Ow. You like that? Stop. Yeah? Yeah. I, you I, warm yet, you little bitch? I'm warm. I'm warm. Yeah, go I'm unleash warm. your beast, motherfucker. <laughs> You must do it, this daughter. You must do this, daughter. No matter what happens, you have to promise to survive. How hopeless you may be. You have to promise. You have to hold on to that promise. Never let go. 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 All right, scene, yes! Beautiful. All right, guys, well, um, <clears throat> everyone, important announcement. Showcase is in one week. This is a million-dollar opportunity. I, I want you all to contribute to each other's success, help each other, get behind each other, root for each other. I want you to tell all your friends and family I want to pack this place to the rafters. I want to really get the adrenaline flowing. I want it to be really fantastic for you guys. So I want you all to bring in $50 tomorrow to help offset my costs for the showcase. Uh, okay. Sir, $50 is a lot of money for me to spend right now. What? Sorry. Did I hear that right? So you're going to throw away your whole career, you know, worth millions for a measly $50? Is that what you're telling all the class here? You want to quit? No, sir, that's, that, that, that's not what I meant. You know, I've given up millions of dollars as an actor. I've suffered through four very painful divorces for your ungrateful asses. You know, I was offered the lead in Amadeus. All right, it was the tour. I turned it down for my students because I love them. And what do you do? You kick me right in the teeth for 50 fucking dollars. Like your character, Rose, as you were doing it moments ago. And when you were promising your young toy boy, oh, I'll never let you go. <laughs> I'll never let you go. I'll never let you go. What? Then the bitch lets him go to the fucking ocean floor. Uh, uh, Grammy not gonna give no money, no, no piggy bank, not. Uh -huh. Jesus, take a knife. <clears throat> yes. Oh, uh, besides uh, our scene and the money, is there anything else we need to, you know, prepare? Thank you for asking an intelligent question. Yes. You need to find the beast inside you. And you need to unleash the hell out of it. You see, this is your one chance to take Hollywood by storm. So I, I want you to get all your shit together. And I want you to really blow these people away. I want you to blow everyone away. Come on, people. Unleash your beast. Ah! There, that's it. That's brilliant. He's the king. You have just earned yourself a lead in the showcase. Woo! Uccellini! He is now your king! He's in charge! Evan is out of here! I'm in charge, which basically means I'm the boss. We'll be meeting here tomorrow at 7. Capiche? How about we all decide what time is best for the class, fuckface? Hey, it's been decided. Be here at 7 or your little ass is out of the showcase and into the urine-filled streets. Capiche? Yeah, come on. Sir, 
I have a concern burning in my bosom. Oh, well, I have a concern that you're just one thrust away from throwing out every disc in your lower back. But I don't come barging into your office now, do I? They've had less than one month of training. Don't you think it's a little early for them to be exposed to, to producers and agents? Pete's sake, what, their careers? You know, I'm dealing with what? Autism and 80-year-olds drooling on my carpet. We've got degenerates here. They're not degenerates. They're individuals with hopes and dreams just like everyone else. Well, I've even got one that can't manipulate 50% of her body. Her name is Hana, and she's beautiful and talented. So you tell that to the director of Horse Whisperer 2 when he calls to say, Hannah couldn't hold the reins of the stunt horse with one hand. I mean, do you really think that's gonna help her career, do you? Well, do you? Evan, I don't know what you're saying, frankly. I don't care. This is a very nice scotch. I'm sitting here enjoying myself. So why don't you take your little cushion and ram it up your ass? Yes, I got the part of the queen. That's the lead part. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Looks like I got the uh, old knight in shining armor. Oh, cool. Que dice, my lovely Niggy. You know, since you're playing the queen, you'll have more lines with me than anyone else. Really? Why is that? I don't know, Juliet. Who do you think would be the logical philogistic for the queen to have conversillogism with? That's not even a word. A king. Right. Well. I'm the knight in shining armor, and I'd take that any day over being an ignorant, uneducated, lazy king. Oh, my God. Guys, please. Well, that's perfect. Then why don't you make like the cute little knight that you are and find something to do with your time, my brother? Because the king and the queen have a lot of work to do. Come on, Nikki. <laughs> oh, <Cellini. laughs> Hey. Hey, Anna. You did a great job tonight. Thanks. Look, I'll catch up with you later, OK? Are you OK, Drew? Yeah, top of the world. Unga! Not today, Hansel. The lover's identity has been resurrected. Where'd you get Nikki's ID? She's probably gonna need this. I should probably take it back to her, right? Thank you. Hey, people. People. Hey! Shut up! The director's talking. Oh, shouldn't we wait for Nikki to get here? <laughs> Nikki's gonna be a little late. Really? Why is that, Rabicio? <laughs> Sorry. Hi. What's up? I don't know, Nikki. Why don't you tell me? I thought you weren't that type of girl. I can't do this. I'm done. Hey, where are you going? Uh, Drew, don't bail on us. We need you. Yeah, I thought we were all in this together. Where are you going? Really? OK. The only reason I joined this class is to bang her. Apparently, she's a whore. For the rest of you, Granny, what are you, 90 years old? Wake up. And you, you can barely complete a sentence. Talking to you is like dealing with a crack baby. I don't want to say not no drugs. And what, a fashion designer and a geek take over the entertainment business? And you, little guy. I don't know if you got the memo, but they already shot the movie Willow. <gasps> yeah, you're about 20 years too late. You might want to see if Santa's still hiring for the season. Check that out. Oh, with your little pterodactyl arms. Uh, uh. Who's my bitch now? Hey, Drew. What? Go fuck yourself. Star Maker Academy's a joke. We're all bigger jokes for being here. Oh. And everybody knows you're not Italian. Yes, I am. I am Italian. Nikki, give it up. Guys, what the fuck is wrong with you? 
Sounds like that little Betty did you dirty, brother. Another dude in the same week, huh? That's why I hit and quit. No emotions involved, my friend. Hey, I get you something too. Oh Drink? shit, you again, huh? Well, yes. Um, I have a Cabernet Sauvignon. Vodka, please. Double. Okay. You know, Nate. It'd been one thing if she hooked up with another guy. Oh, Rabizio. He's just so gross. Oh. Hey, look. I knew it. I got the gift, my friend. The gift? Yes. The gift of intuition. We could have had an Oreo cookie, brother. Nikki's white. I don't give a shit. I'm black. Okay, so I've got one double vodka and one straight cognac with a splash of jungle juice and a watermelon wedge. Cool. Watermelon? What the fuck is jungle juice, man? <laughs> Come forth. Hi, Hansel. Um, is Drew here? He is without presence. Does that mean he's not here? Do you know when he'll be back? I do not. I also do not know who you are. Oh, th this is Hannah. She's part of our acting class. Um, ah, I extend my right hand, and she offers her left. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I can't use this side of my body. Because you choose not to move this side of your body. No, actually, it's not by choice. A beautiful girl who is a nonconformist. The magnitude of such copious assertion is far too sagacious for me to comprehend. Therefore, I hesitate to articulate with any degree of accuracy. Wait. I work my ass off to be the best actor in this biz, but and I can't change who I am. I can't change the way I was born. I think you just need to stay positive, Teddy. I mean, how do you know that there's not a movie being written right now about a leading man who's also a little person? What does that have to do with anything? I'm talking about dealing with the backlash of discrimination. Well, as a little person, right? No, you idiot. As a homosexual. Oh, shit. OK, all right. Look, when I first started, I was a total basket of nerves, remember? But then I just I let the adrenaline take over and unleash my beast, just like Evan taught us. Oh, God, you guys. I, I gotta go. I can't. Look, my ex, my ex is in there. I can't deal with this right now. I think I know what you need, Teddy. And then let me go. Yeah? Tell me to let you go. Tell me to let you go, or I'll hold you like this all day, woman. Let me let go of you. Asshole. I'm warm. I'm warm. Freeze, all right. <laughs> you have three seconds to put that child down, or you will be dead. You again? Oh, shit. No, look. What? No. First Girl Scouts now, little handicapped boys. What? No. You are sicker than I thought, you sick no. little pervert. Teddy, tell them. It's a misunderstanding. Tell them. Officers, I'm 26 years old. You should tell me so I can go inside and blow them away. What? Oh, sweet Jesus. It's OK, little boy. You don't have to blow anyone today. Not a little boy. You can go shove that up your black ass. God, Teddy, are you OK? Step back or you will be tased. Who are you? My name is Hugo. What the hell are you doing here? I, I, I was inside just having my normal vanilla nut latte skinny girl edition, and I saw this beast manhandling my little teddy. Are you this little boy's father? No, he used to be my lover. He was oh. amazing. He would get to places you never Ooh, what? You know your friend's going to be at that showcase tonight, right? Apparently. Yeah, and you're supposed to be there. Let me ask you something. What do you think they're going to say when you don't even show up? How do you think they're going to feel, man? Who cares? Anything else? No, thanks. But that's messed up, Drew. If you say you're going to do something, then, man, you got to do it. I mean, all your peeps are going to be there while you're sitting in a dive bar. Come on. Let's go. Little boy, I'll be right back for you. Yeah. We will find your parents today, yeah. sweetheart. Yeah. Don't either of you move a muscle. Let's go, rookie. You're going to pin me down. 
I unleashed beast. <laughs> Let's go. Hurry up. I don't want to miss showcase. You guys just go without me. I can never keep up. Yeah, right. Let's saddle up, dudes. <sighs> Teddy, what the hell is happening? You just stop being such a queen. I'll be fine. Leave me alone. Where are you going? I'm going to the showcase. I've got to unleash my beast. Oh, Shut up, Hugo. Don't you die on me. OK, I, I don't even know how to turn this thing on. Honestly, I, I've never driven one of these. I've never even ridden a bicycle. Shit. Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to introduce the one and the only Star Studded Ensemble, I give to you the Star Maker Academy! lived a very selfish king. I am both intelligent and handsome. Are there any men greater than me, my loves? Your greatness goes unparalleled, my love. You are the greatest king in all the land. And that is why I shall wed even more wives. A male specimen of this caliber shall not be hoarded by merely three women, for I desire more wives. May we ask that you not take another lover, for we are beginning to feel like just a number. My love, <coughs> asshole. <laughs> Heidi, my queen, you have always been the quiet one in the group. I suggest you keep quiet, or I'm going to toss your ass out of this castle and into the urine-filled streets. <sighs> Why don't you have a car again, Nate? You might find it funny, Drew, but the environment is no joke. Fucking segways. One of the king's guardsmen appears bearing news of a recent discovery. King Rubicio, grant thy servant liberty to speak freely to thy greatness. Yes, my guardsmen. But first, who is the most handsome king in all of the land? You are King Rubicio, though my gate does not swing in that direction. I am confident enough to compliment. <laughs> Why have you come bothering me and my lucky concubines? Your warriors have returned, good sir. They have come bringing you a new wife. Send them in, my guardsmen. Hello, my good king. We've returned from our travels and brought to you the most beautiful woman in all of the land. Well, I thought I was the most beautiful queen. Silence. Hold this. Bring forth the prisoner and let me examine her myself. Well, what do you think? Is this object of affection pretty enough for the king of all kings? Pretty enough? Are you serious, Rubicio? Hannah's way too hot for you. She doesn't deserve a jerk like you. Shut up, you idiot. That's not part of the scene. Tell it to someone who cares. Warriors! Come forth and put this moron in the hole, for he has shown great disrespect. <laughs> I will wed this prisoner of love. I shall make her my concubine immediately. Bring forth the priest. Quesadice, my reverend. Good day to you, my king. What a beautiful young bride thee has selected. You are a lucky king. I am a deserving king. Now begin the ceremony, for I am growing increasingly anxious to bed down my new wife. Please, king, have mercy on me, for I love another man, and it is he I wish to live happily ever after with, not you. Silence. You are now mine, and you will forever be mine. Continue with the ceremony now. If no one objects to these two wedding this day, speak Unhand her! <laughs> Unhand my beautiful wife, you filthy king. For well, I have traveled a fortnight to fend off this ferocious king. But now, as I stand before you, you are no king. For you are an insecure coward. <laughs> Enough. 
Shut up! What are you guys doing? That's not even part of the scene. You're gonna ruin this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I now declare each and every one of you a free member in society. Live and let live. Shall we rejoice? <laughs> <laughs> your love. Come fight me for what you think you deserve. <laughs> Uccellini! Pazzo. Meditative mixed martial arts. Uh, now relax. Yeah. And it came to pass. Hansel had defeated the evil king. The darkness had moved out and made way for the sunshine. A new day has arrived. baby thank you so much for coming teddy that was glorious i swear i believed you were a lumberjack really it, oh my goodness it was just i i told you that class is like amazing i didn't mean to hurt you i really didn't i forgive you yeah the point is that you're here now yeah right. it just means so much to me honestly like hey! you all have three seconds to get on the ground or you will be tased no, him again. What's your explanation, boy? I have no explanation. I'm sorry. And who's this young lady behind you? She's my girlfriend. Don't lie to me, boy. You can't get something that hot. I swear to God, she's my girlfriend. Tell him. Tell him. I don't know him. She How doesn't know you. What the fuck? It's on. It's on. It's on. Once again, it's on. All rise for the Honorable Judge Martinez. These geniuses were charged with Grand Theft Auto. Luckily for them, I finally passed the bar exam. You may be seated. Hey, Drew, tell the judge to go fuck himself. No, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Hello, Your Honor. In today's case, 1009, uh, the People versus Starmaker Academy, we'd like to enter a plea of not guilty. And had them demoted. I know. It's all because of you. It's all your fault. Uh, in this situation, powerful I, told you, I told you, this was no good. And action! <laughs> and Rubicio? Well, let's just say karma is alive and well. Hey, Charles. I think we just found the new face for our company. Nikki Moorhead. Find her. Nikki became the official spokesmodel for non-Virgin Airlines. Hannah, I thought we were being inside. Yeah, I figured I'd pick you up. That way we could carpool. Besides, I missed you. Thanks, babe. All in all, I'd call this a happy ending. Mm -hmm. Even for Nate.